Have you ever wondered about the best places to visit in South Australia? Welcome to a journey through a land of diverse attractions, a place where the urban charm meets the rugged wilderness, where culture thrives amidst the natural beauty. South Australia, the southern central state of Australia, is a treasure trove of experiences waiting to be discovered. From the vibrant festivals and culinary delights of Adelaide, the capital city, to the world-class wineries of Barossa Valley and McLaren Vale, each corner of this state holds a unique allure. For the nature enthusiasts, the stunning landscapes of Kangaroo Island, Flinders Ranges, and the coastal regions of Fleurieu and Eyre Peninsula, beckon. And let's not forget about the rich Aboriginal heritage, the underground opal mines of Cooper Petty, and the tranquil waterways of Korong National Park. Each of these destinations offers a rich tapestry of experiences. So, ready to explore the gems of South Australia? Let's start with the vibrant capital city, Adelaide. Welcome to Adelaide, the capital city of South Australia. A city that's more than just the administrative heart of the state, Adelaide is a vibrant tapestry of culture, culinary delights, and captivating attractions. As you wander the streets of Adelaide, you'll quickly notice the city's love for festivals and cultural events. From the spirited rhythms of Womadelaide to the captivating performances of the Adelaide Fringe Festival, there's always something to stir your senses and ignite your passion for the arts. But let's not forget the city's culinary scene. With a rich multicultural heritage, Adelaide is a melting pot of flavors from around the globe. And there's no better place to experience this gastronomic diversity than the Adelaide Central Market. Bursting with fresh produce and artisan foods, it's a foodie's dream and a feast for all senses. But Adelaide isn't just about the urban delights. The city is also home to the Adelaide Botanic Garden, a lush oasis in the heart of the concrete jungle. Here, you can stroll among exotic plants, marvel at the Victorian architecture of the Palm House, or simply relax in the tranquil surroundings. For sports enthusiasts, a visit to the Adelaide Oval is a must, known for hosting cricket and Australian rules football matches. It's a place where the city's sporting spirit comes alive. And even if you're not a sports fan, the stadium's stunning architecture and the panoramic views of the city from the rooftop are worth the visit. Art lovers, too, will find their haven in Adelaide. The Art Gallery of South Australia, with its impressive collection of Australian and international art, offers a visual feast that's hard to resist. Adelaide, with its blend of cultural vibrancy, culinary delights, and iconic attractions, offers a unique Australian city experience. It's a place where tradition and innovation coexist, creating an atmosphere that's both dynamic and comfortably familiar. From the bustling city life, we now move to the tranquil vineyards of Barossa Valley. Welcome to the world-class wine region, Barossa Valley. In the heart of South Australia, this haven is a dream come true for wine lovers and food enthusiasts. With over 150 wineries and cellar doors, it's the perfect place to savor some of the world's finest wines, right from the source. The Barossa Valley is home to some of the oldest vineyards in the world, with some vines dating back over a hundred years. As you journey through this lush landscape, you can't help but be enchanted by the rows upon rows of grapevines, stretching as far as the eye can see. Wine tasting tours are a must here. You'll have the opportunity to sample a variety of wines, from bold Shiraz to crisp Rieslings. Each winery has its own unique story and charm, with expert winemakers who are passionate about their craft. They'll guide you through the intricacies of the winemaking process, from the vine to the bottle, but the Barossa Valley isn't just about wine. It's a gourmet food paradise with a strong focus on local produce. The region's fertile soils produce an abundance of fresh fruits, vegetables, and grains, which are used to create a range of delectable dishes. From artisan cheeses to smoked meats, your taste buds are in for a treat. For those seeking a scenic adventure, the Barossa Valley offers picturesque drives through its rolling hills and charming villages. You can explore the region at your own pace taking in the stunning vistas and discovering hidden gems along the way. And let's not forget about the regional cuisine. The Barossa Valley is renowned for its farm-to-table dining experiences, where you can indulge in mouth-watering meals prepared with fresh, locally sourced ingredients. It's the perfect way to round off your day of wine tasting and sightseeing. As we bid farewell to the vineyards and the gourmet delights of the Barossa Valley, 
we set our sights on a whole new adventure. From the lush vineyards, we now sail to the nature lover's paradise, Kangaroo Island. Welcome to the wild and beautiful Kangaroo Island. Imagine a place where you can experience the serene whispers of untouched wilderness, the playful banter of native wildlife, and the timeless tales told by remarkable geological formations. That's Kangaroo Island for you, a paradise for nature lovers, nestled off the coast of South Australia. As the island unfolds, the Seal Bay Conservation Park is a spectacle waiting to be witnessed. Here you can walk among the sea lions, observe their playful antics, and feel the raw power of nature as waves crash onto the pristine beach. It's an intimate wildlife experience that truly captures the essence of this amazing island. Next, the journey takes us to the Flinders Chase National Park, a place where the dense bushland gives way to the rugged coastline and where kangaroos and koalas roam free. If you listen closely, you can hear the echoes of an ancient world in the rustling leaves and the gentle hush of the ocean breeze. Now let's take a moment to marvel at the remarkable rocks. These granite boulders sculpted by wind and sea over millions of years stand proudly atop a cliff, creating a stunning contrast against the azure backdrop of the Southern Ocean. Each rock, with its unique shape and size, tells a timeless story of resilience and transformation. Our last stop is Admiral's Arch, a natural rock arch shaped by the relentless pounding of the sea. This majestic monument, teeming with fur seals, is a testament to the island's dynamic landscape and its rich biodiversity. But Kangaroo Island isn't just about the landscapes and wildlife. It's about the spirit of exploration, the joy of discovery, and the sense of connection one feels with the natural world. It's about experiencing the grandeur of nature in its purest form and carrying these unforgettable memories in your heart. From the island paradise, we now head to the outback region of Flinders Ranges. Welcome to the stunning and rugged Flinders Ranges. In the heart of South Australia's outback lies a world of ancient landscapes, the Flinders Ranges. These ranges are characterized by rugged mountains, weather-beaten peaks, and deep craggy gorges that have been sculpted over millions of years. This is the land where time stands still and where the silence is broken only by the whispers of the wind. The Flinders Ranges are not just about the breathtaking scenery. They're also about an incredibly rich Aboriginal heritage that dates back tens of thousands of years. The Aboriginal rock art sites of Arkaroo Rock and Sacred Canyon in particular provide a glimpse into the spiritual and cultural life of the Adnyamathana people, the traditional owners of this land. These rock art sites are strewn with petroglyphs and paintings, each telling a story of the Aboriginal dream time. A must-visit attraction in the Flinders Ranges is Vilpena Pound, a natural amphitheatre of mountains. Picture a gigantic bowl spread across nearly 50 square miles, surrounded by a rim of jagged peaks. It's a sight to behold and a favourite among hikers and photographers alike. Then there's Brachina Gorge, a geological wonder that serves as an open book on the Earth's history. It's a place where you can literally touch rocks that are over 500 million years old. Burkina Gorge is also home to the yellow-footed rock wallaby, a creature as ancient and enduring as the landscape itself. The Flinders Ranges also offer a variety of outdoor activities for the adventurous. From hiking and mountain biking to four-wheel driving and scenic flights, there's something for everyone. In the Flinders Ranges, you don't just visit, you immerse yourself in the raw and untamed beauty of the Australian outback. You connect with a land that has been shaped by the elements and the passage of time. You experience a sense of awe and wonder that stays with you long after you've left. From the rugged outback, we now head to the picturesque McLaren Vale. Welcome to the scenic and premium wine region, McLaren Vale. Known for its picturesque beauty and warm, temperate climate, McLaren Vale is a destination that wine aficionados and culinary enthusiasts dream about. Imagine a place where the sun shines on rolling vineyards that stretch as far as the eye can see, where the air is filled with the scent of ripening grapes, and the atmosphere is imbued with a sense of tranquility. This is McLaren Vale, a region famed for its world-class wines and gourmet food offerings. Here, wine tasting is not just an activity, it's an experience. With over 70 wineries to choose from, 
you'll have the opportunity to sample some of the finest wines in the world. From robust Shiraz to delicate Rieslings, the variety of wines produced in McLaren Vale is astounding. And the best part? Each winery offers its own unique charm, whether it's the rustic elegance of old stone cellars or the sleek modernity of contemporary tasting rooms. But the wine experience in McLaren Vale isn't limited to tasting. Many wineries offer cellar door experiences, where you can learn about the art of winemaking from the very people who craft these exquisite wines. It's a chance to delve deeper into the world of wine, to understand the passion and craftsmanship that goes into every bottle. Yet, McLaren Vale is not just about wines. The region is also renowned for its food. With a focus on local produce, the dining experiences here range from casual cafes to fine dining restaurants. Whether you're enjoying a leisurely lunch in a vineyard or indulging in a gourmet dinner, the food in McLaren Vale is as memorable as the wines. And let's not forget the scenic drives. Winding roads take you through landscapes of lush vineyards and golden wheat fields, with the Mount Lofty Ranges providing a stunning backdrop. It's a sight that captures the essence of McLaren Vale, a blend of natural beauty, agricultural richness, and cultural sophistication. From the rolling vineyards, we now head to the pristine beaches of Fleurieu Peninsula. Welcome to the coastal charm of Fleurieu Peninsula. Just south of Adelaide, the Fleurieu Peninsula is a delightful blend of sandy beaches, rugged cliffs, and charming seaside towns. This region is a haven for those who love the ocean's song and the quaint allure of coastal life. At the heart of the peninsula lies Victor Harbour, a town steeped in history and brimming with activities for all ages. Its horse-drawn tram ride across a wooden causeway to Granite Island is a unique experience not to be missed. Not far from Victor Harbour is the charming town of Port Elliot. With its historic buildings and a popular surf spot at Horseshoe Bay, it's a perfect spot for a relaxing seaside escape. Then we have Gulwa at the mouth of the Murray River. It's a place where river life and ocean energy meet, creating a unique environment perfect for water sports, bird watching, or simply enjoying a riverside picnic. But the Fleurieu Peninsula isn't just about the towns. The region's natural beauty truly shines in its coastal landscapes. The Hazen Trail, for instance, offers some of the most stunning coastal walks in South Australia. As you meander along the trail, you'll be treated to breathtaking views of rugged cliffs, rolling waves, and perhaps even a sighting of a southern right whale if you're here between June and October. The peninsula is also home to several conservation parks, teeming with native wildlife. Deep Creek Conservation Park, for instance, offers a chance to spot kangaroos, echidnas, and an array of bird species in their natural habitat. And let's not forget the peninsula's culinary scene. With an abundance of fresh seafood, local produce, and boutique wineries, your taste buds are in for a real treat. So whether you're a nature lover, a history enthusiast, a foodie, or just someone seeking a laid-back coastal escape, the Fleurieu Peninsula has something for everyone. From the charming coastline, we now head to the adventure-filled Air Peninsula. Welcome to the adventurous and stunning Air Peninsula, a place truly worthy of your bucket list. The Air Peninsula is a gem that takes you on a journey of thrilling exploits and breathtaking nature. This is where Australia's raw, untouched wilderness meets the charm of coastal living, creating a unique harmony that is both exhilarating and soothing. Imagine diving into the deep blue sea, your heart pounding with excitement as you come face to face with one of nature's most majestic creatures, the Great White Shark. That's right, shark cage diving is a popular activity here on the Air Peninsula. But don't worry, you're safely enclosed within a cage, giving you the thrill of a lifetime while ensuring your safety. If you're more of a landlubber, fret not. The peninsula is home to stunning national parks that are perfect for hiking and exploring. From vast, sprawling landscapes to intricate ecosystems brimming with unique wildlife, these parks are a haven for nature enthusiasts. Now, let's talk about swimming, but not just any swimming. Here, you get the chance to swim with sea lions, these playful creatures are known to interact with swimmers, making for a truly unforgettable experience. The Air Peninsula is not just about adrenaline-pumping adventures. It also offers a serene retreat into nature. The coastline here is simply mesmerizing. Picture a rugged shoreline where towering cliffs meet the crashing waves of the Southern Ocean. The beaches are pristine, the views are panoramic, and the sunsets, they are simply magical. 
But let's not forget about the culinary scene. Known for its seafood, this part of South Australia serves up some of the freshest catch you can find. Whether it's the famous Coffin Bay oysters, King George Whiting, or Southern Bluefin tuna, seafood lovers are in for a treat. The Eyre Peninsula is a place where adventure and tranquility coexist, where every day is a new opportunity to explore, to experience, and to embrace the beauty of nature. It's a place that stays with you long after you've left its shores. From the adventure-filled peninsula, we now head to the cool and scenic Adelaide Hills. Welcome to the charming and scenic Adelaide Hills. In the heart of South Australia, this region offers a delightful blend of nature, culture, and history. Awash with lush greenery and rolling hills, it's a sight to behold and a haven for the senses. Let's start with the region's claim to fame, its cool climate wines. The Adelaide Hills is recognized as a premier wine-producing region, not just in Australia, but globally. Here, vineyards sprawl across the landscape, their rows of grapevines standing tall and proud under the Australian sun. The cool climate of the hills lends a unique character to the wines produced here, resulting in a flavor that's both rich and refreshing. A visit to this region isn't complete without a wine-tasting tour. It's an opportunity to savor the best of Australian viticulture, one sip at a time. From the vineyards, we journey into the heart of Adelaide Hills, its historic towns. Among them, Handorf stands out as a must-visit destination. As Australia's oldest surviving German settlement, Handorf is a charming blend of European heritage and Australian spirit. Stroll down the main street, and you're greeted with beautifully preserved architecture, quaint shops, and an array of dining options that range from traditional German fare to modern Australian cuisine. It's a delightful slice of history nestled in the hills, but the Adelaide Hills is not just about wine and history. It's also a haven for nature lovers. The region is home to the Mount Lofty Botanic Garden and Cleland Conservation Park, both of which offer stunning landscapes and a variety of bushwalking trails. Whether you're an avid hiker or a casual walker, these parks provide a chance to immerse yourself in the region's natural beauty. Here, you can walk beneath towering trees, listen to the melodies of native birds, and breathe in the fresh, eucalyptus-scented air. The Adelaide Hills is more than just a destination. It's an experience. It's a chance to unwind, to explore, and to create memories that will last a lifetime. From the rolling hills, we now head to the coastal wilderness of Koorong National Park. Welcome to the serene and rich Koorong National Park. Nestled in South Australia's coastline is the Koorong National Park, a realm of tranquility and diversity. The park is a mosaic of wetlands, lagoons and sand dunes, each contributing to the unique ecosystem that thrives here. But what makes Koorong truly special is its extraordinary bird life. With over 200 species recorded, it's a paradise for bird enthusiasts. Koorong's richness extends beyond its natural beauty into its cultural heritage. The Ngurindjeri people, the traditional custodians of this land, have lived here for thousands of years. Their stories and traditions are woven into the fabric of the park, echoing in the rustle of the reeds and the lapping of the waves. From the coastal wilderness, we now head to the unique outback town of Kuber Pedi. Welcome to the opal capital of the world, Kuber Pedi. In the heart of South Australia's outback lies a town unlike any other, Cooper Petty. This unique, vibrant town is renowned worldwide for its opal production, with an estimated 70% of the world's opal supply originating from here. But it's not just the opals that make Cooper Petty a must-see location. It's the way of life that truly sets it apart. Underneath the rugged, lunar-like landscapes, you'll find a town that literally lives underground. With summer temperatures often soaring above 40 degrees Celsius, the residents of Kuba Pedi have adapted to their environment in the most fascinating way, by carving their homes into the cool, stable earth. These dugouts, as they're locally known, offer a respite from the harsh desert conditions above. The town's underground living doesn't stop at homes. Here, you'll find churches, hotels, and even a golf course, all nestled beneath the earth's surface. These subterranean structures provide a glimpse into a lifestyle that perfectly embodies the Australian spirit of resilience and ingenuity. Kuba Pedi's opal-rich history is another gem waiting to be explored. The town's name, 
derived from the local Aboriginal term Kupapiti, means white man's burrows, a nod to the opal miners who first settled here over a century ago. Visitors can delve into this history at the Umuna Opal Mine and Museum, where you can learn about opal formation, mining history, and even try your hand at noodling, searching for opals in the mine's mullock heaps. Beyond the town, the surrounding landscapes offer their own unique charm. The Kanku Breakaways Conservation Park, with its striking mounds of colorful weathered sandstone, is a sight to behold, especially at sunrise or sunset, when the colors truly come alive. As we conclude our visit to this remarkable town, it's clear that Kuba Pedi offers much more than opals. It's a testament to human adaptation, a living museum of mining history, and a gateway to some of Australia's most stunning natural beauty. From the opal town, we will explore the remaining gems of South Australia. And that's not all. South Australia has much more to offer. This region is a treasure trove of experiences waiting to be discovered, and we've only just scratched the surface. In the heart of Adelaide, you'll find Glenelg Beach, a bustling seaside suburb with a beautiful sandy shoreline and a vintage tram. This is a place where you can spend a day building sand castles, watching the sunset, or simply enjoying the local cafes and boutiques. Now, let's head southeast to Mount Gambier, a unique destination known for its volcanic landscapes, stunning blue lake, and fascinating caves. The blue lake, which mysteriously changes color throughout the seasons, is a sight to behold. And don't forget to explore the Umferston sinkhole, a beautiful sunken garden created in a collapsed limestone cave. But the journey doesn't stop here. Flowing through the heart of South Australia, the Murray River is not just a water source, it's a life source. It's a place where you can go on a picturesque river cruise, paddle a canoe, or simply enjoy the serene landscapes from one of the charmingly old world river ferries. South Australia is also home to the world's largest open gallery, the Silo Art Trail, where giant grain silos have been transformed into stunning murals by international and local artists. This is a testament to the state's vibrant arts scene and a must-see for anyone visiting. And let's not forget the Whispering Wall in Barossa Valley, where the acoustics of the dam wall can carry a whisper for over 140 meters, or the Painted Desert, a surreal landscape of weathered rock formations glowing with an array of vibrant colors. Each corner of South Australia tells a different story, each more fascinating than the last, from its rugged coastlines and pristine beaches to its world-class wine regions, vibrant cities, and vast outback. This is a place that invites you to step outside the ordinary and experience the extraordinary. So, when are you packing your bags for South Australia? It's a journey you'll cherish forever.